What's up you two? Welcome to my GPX film school. And today we're learning how to create a heat text effect. Step one, select the clip you want to place your title effect. So what I'm gonna do is, I'ma trim this to maybe like a two second, a quick appear. Step two, right click on the video and select replace with After Effect composition. So I right click, I click on replace with After Effect composition. Step three, name your file and save it. So I'm gonna name this file heat text effect. Step four, click the title icon, select the title font and size as desired. So this is the title icon so I click on anywhere in the video, I click, and let's say I wanna name this video or title GPX. Let me just put a capitalize. And if I wanna customize the size and, you know, if I wanna customize the size, I use the little lowercase t and the uppercase t so I, I increase the size if i want to change the font i look for a font that i want and i just select any font step five click layer at the top click new click solid pick any color and click ok so i click on layer I click on new, I click on solid, and you can create any color you want. This is the color, let's say I wanna do red. Um, the title will change itself, and you just click okay. I usually just click okay regardless of any color cause the color doesn't matter at this point. So click okay. And you see the red, okay? Step six, click effect and preset, type in Saber. Okay, I click on effect and preset and the search bar appears. So I type in Saber. If you don't have Saber in your After Effects, you can do a little research and download Saber. So I click on Saber, click drag, to the solid red. Step seven, click customize core, core type and click text layer. So I click on customize core, which is here. This is the core type. I click on saber, I click on text layer. Step eight, click text layer, click your title. So I click on the text layer, which is here. I click on none. I look for the title that I named, which was GPX. Step nine, click composite settings and then click transparent. So composite settings is under render. So you look for render settings. Then you look for composite, click on black and click on transparent. Step 10, select preset. All right, so the preset is on top, which is here. Then you look for a heat. All right, you click on heat and you see a lot of heat. So of course you could turn it down a notch. So you go on glow intensity 
instead of 184%, you decrease it and you still see a title. And you can just play around with the settings, low spread, blow bias, core size, and any of these things. Okay. Okay, I mean, this is pretty cool. I don't want it too intense. Step 11, click file and save. Always save your effects. So click on file and click save. Then exit. Step 12, the title effect should be on your Premiere Pro timeline. If not, we watch this video. So as you can see, you see the title effect and when I play it you see the heat you don't see the heat glowing let me increase it a little bit increase the screen matter of fact let me increase the percentage uh, let me put 75 all right and you don't see the heat uh, it's really hot okay so thank you for watching